So you're here to accept the Founders Award tonight. It represents the Amrita, Mas Amrita Massacre. What's it like accepting this for that reason? Yeah, I feel humbled because there are so many people who sacrifice themselves for seeing the country free. And most important about Jalewala Bag is that it was an attack on the community togetherness. On 9th of April, actually that was the first time that Hindu-Muslim co communities celebrated a Hindu a festival called Ram Naomi. And it was led by a Muslim doctor. And that unity actually made the imperial rulers mad. And they wanted to break it. And those very people who were so peacefully doing this, they were first attacked on 10th of April. 22 people were dead. And that made people a mass fringy. But then this Jalewala Bagh took place. It didn't end it with that. The post Jalewala Bagh, there was so much torture that even aeroplane was used to bomb Gujrawala, which is now in Pakistan. And similarly in Kasur, this small, a 14-year boy was hanged in the open. Far, far. So, so that was actually breaking the... But that message of unity of communities beyond religion and caste was taken further by my maternal uncle, Bhagat Singh, who made his first uh, attempt to make a Naujan Bharat Sabha, a youth league. And then he challenged the British system by entering into the parliament and saying that you cannot withdraw individual rights, you cannot withdraw the collective rights, because that is what we are fighting for. And I'm ready to die for my ideas. And he had a long hunger strike. But for, because we are young people, we should have the right to uh, read. And the very first thing was that he got a notebook as an award of his victory. <laughs> and the very first thing which he wrote on that is, my strength is the strength of the oppressed. My courage is the courage of desperation. And then there is a Urdu couplet which he wrote on that. Kurre khak hai gardash mein tapash meri. Main wo majnu hoon jo zinda mein bhi azad raha. So that means that the spirit of living. And he told that, that this spirit must live and the unity. And that is what required today. It is not that we are asking for something better, but for it, and it is most in, uh, satisfying that Asian communities meet together and give me that Asia Award on that. I mean, you talk so much about unity and the importance of it. And obviously, you know, this award is done on a night where it is the Asian community coming together. Why is it now for you so important to have this award? Because now, after 100 years, we are revisiting history. And that makes it more important when it is being debated in the House of Commons, this is being debated in the House of Lords, and it is also every Indian still feel that he is not given justice even after that. So, so that way the community coming together and celebrating that unity for which those sacrifices actually took place is a great event. And it seems like integrity is a key value in all of this as well. It's about justice, integrity and unity. No, I think the, the other part is that the effect of the British rule was inequality. Now, the economists say that in 20s, the inequality was 1 into 99. Similar is the 2016, but that's another part of it. But then Bhagat Singh addressed that we need equality. Because without fraternity, you cannot have equality. So the brotherhood and unity is more important. And he says that the only solution is a scientific way of doing it is socialism. So, so he put his whole life on that. So, so that way, this is a very important for me also, that sitting in London, we are having the Asian community talking about those past which, which need to be done justice now. Congratulations on this award and I'm happy for you that it's been recognised because it is 100 years this year, isn't it? And so it's very important that we remember it. And well done to you for all your work. Thank you very much.